Whiskey House Pub House Podcast. Today, we're joined with uh, Carter, as usual, Dylan, as usual, mm. and Zach, as usual. Three co-hosts together in, as one. And today, we're going to do a rundown of a bunch of selections of Knob Creek with age statements, non-age statements ranging from 9 to 15, and proof ranging from, what is it, 90 to... 100. They started at 100? Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah. What? Yep. I didn't know that. I think we went over this one episode, too. Yeah. Okay. From 100 to 120? 20. One, the 15 is one, 120. One, two, question mark. <laughs> and so please enjoy our reviews of each. Hopefully you find something that you would like to take away. And to get started, shall we get started? And we're just going to jump right into it. <laughs> so so i guess we should talk about it a little, little bit it is recently within the last couple months knob creek has brought back the classic nine-year small batch it previously was removed a couple of years ago and that's what we're starting with we're starting with the no age statement small batch knob creek 50 percent alcohol and then we're going to compare it after that to the age dated small batch and see what the differences are so Mm -hmm. we're gonna do a cork pop we did a tally of how many times we use the words cherry and vanilla Ooh, we need a tally yep Uh, (laughs) i know it's gonna be in the dozens cherry vanilla peach cream delicious bottle bottle I'm looking at this new Knob Creek bottle. It's pretty wonky. And I don't know how I feel about it. We'll, it's, we'll, we'll get more to it. But like, I what, like you, it. what are you guys' initial thoughts well, on Well, somehow it, it looks like it has more in it. Yeah, you know, it just, does. Just the size. It's I taller. I think it's skinnier. It is, yeah. But it's taller, but it's because it's like ribbed. The glass is all wavy when you hold it. It's like, it's a weird ocular phenomenon. It know? feels nice when you hold it. Yeah. So we know this is a Jim Beam um, product, Knob Creek. It is founded in 1992. Um, it is in the core range from the Jim Beam distillery. Um, obviously, Jim Beam is kind of the entry. And then followed up, you have the Knob Creek, the Bookers, and Bakers. So this is kind of... Their famous small batch uh, premium bourbon, followed by the other two. So, yeah. It's kind of mm. a starting point for a lot of whiskey enthusiasts. Um, you included. Yep, me included. Mm. It smells pretty simple. It's <laughs> actually, I mean, we're back. We just did a scotch episode, so we're back to bourbon. And, I mean, it smells like corn. Car's really. <laughs> No, he's really like trying anything. to nose. He's trying to nose this intensely. <laughs> Get every single vapor in his nostril. He's using that challenge coin. Yep. <laughs> a lot. Yeah, this smells like corn. Like, yeah, like sweet corn. It just does. It smells Straight like up. nail polish remover. Yeah, a little alcoholic. Very ethanol like. A lot of these are going to be in the fifty, with the few being yep. above, obviously. But we're not going below the fifty on this for sure mm-hmm. yeah i don't not too much to get from the scent oh it's just yeah it's just cherry like you said great yep. this is all gonna taste the same pretty that's really syrupy like toothpaste or like a toothpaste kind of thing it's got a good body to it, it tastes mm-hmm. more like a uh caramely luxardo cherry yeah mm-hmm. like cherry juice mm-hmm. i can see it i can see it 
But yeah, like thick syrupy cherry juice. Making see it. it runs down the glass. It's super oily. Dang, look at those legs. All right. This is a very nice amber color to it. Mm -hmm. oh. Ooh, amber. It's got oh, it's got spice to it mm -hmm. too though. It's not it's not just a cherry but, sweetness. I don't know. The spice is it's not from like a a spicy note. It's. I think it's just the ethanol. The heat makes it taste spicy. I don't think it's actually part of the flavor profile hmm. coming from the ingredients. It's so vanilla. The water. I had. I just added water to it. That that really brings up the ethanol to it. Mm -hmm. um, did not improve the nose. Sure. Yeah, bourbon is usually something that can hold up. You know, you can add as much water as you want, and it should taste similar to its base. You know, right. that was what what was that uh, that documentary we watched? Neat. Was it neat? It was, it was a guy. Get, hand me that glass. Are you gonna use that as a water glass? I'm gonna no. dump, dump, dump I'm glass. Gonna dump to it. Though. Um, and the guy was like, that was one of his quotes. He was just sitting sitting in a nice, comfortable lounge chair. He was talking about bourbon. Um, I forgot about that thing. Hello, gotta, Yag Machine. Yeah, we got a secondary device here. You want to hit that, Kerr? Hit that power button. Um, just saying how high proof bourbons stand up to the proof. You could add almost as much water as you want. It's just to taste. You know, make it the way you want it to taste. Mm -hmm. um, and this is not a great example of that because it seems to lose a lot as soon as you add water. Anyways, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to look up what the mash bill is for the Knob Creek, if I can find that. Mm -hmm. I like smash bill. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I don't have a whole lot of thoughts on this. We've drank this a lot. Yeah, it's... Uh... So according to this, the mash bill is 75% corn, 13% rye, 12% barley. That seems low, though, on the rye department. Mm-hmm. Hmm. But it's not my favorite. I like it. I mean, what is this going to be like? It's going to run you at 30. Yeah. About maybe less. I, when I was at, that was at the total. And it was like pretty much sold out for the, well, they don't sell this anymore. Now they're back to age statements. Um, so I haven't seen a non-age stated one in a while. Um, but yeah, it was like they're gone. People people buy this stuff. It's good. Oh, for sure. It's a good recommendation. It's cheap, good in cocktails, good yeah. for uh, sipping. But uh, I mean, what do you what do you guys think? What what's the bourbon that you're buying as far as like a uh, daily? Mm -hmm. I like Elijah Craig Small Batch better than regular Knob Creek mm -hmm. as a cheap go to bourbon. Otherwise, everyone knows I like I like E H Taylor. If you could find it, Buffalo Trace. If you can't, because now I can find Buffalo Trace at a couple places now on the regular. Really? Yeah. So I feel good about that. I'm a big Buffalo boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's good. And uh, should we move on? I feel like we should move on to the next. I think we should. Yeah. There's not much. I mean, everyone knows Small Batch. Yeah, there's there's great, nothing. So. There is nothing else to say. Yeah. So we're gonna compare it to the not uh, the now age dated nine year. Cork pop. Hmm. Synthetic. Yummy. So I'm what I'm hoping from this is like maybe a cane sugar kind of vibe. Some a little more. Well, I would feel like that the oak impact is probably gonna be more dominant mm -hmm. now that we are back to the nine year age statement. But we'll see about that. No, it seems the same. Yeah, the same. I mean, that probably is gonna be all of them. Yeah, not a whole lot to decipher. The bottle is interesting. I guess this is the only one we have with this new bottle style. I don't know if I like the new bottle. It's wavy. Yeah, I, I like it. I, I think I like it more. You think you like it more? I think I do. 
I kind of just like it because it feels nice to hold. I like the texture. I like that it's taller. They didn't change the wax style. It's just a more substantial looking bottle. I I wish it had so like it's a more impressing knob. Yeah, it's like the twelve year <laughs> one. Twelve year one twenty has a a little descripting tag on it. I kind of wish every knob creek came with a tag for design. It looks really good. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I don't have a whole lot of extra thoughts to say about this nine year. Let's do a little taste test. Hey, Brooklyn's here now. I have arrived. The power of editing magic. It tastes pretty much the same. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little... Mm, more, like, gingery. Very light. This is like a lighter taste to me. Hmm. I find it to be just okay. Which one is this again? This is... Knob Creek. I gotta pour some for him. Nine year. Nope, nope. It's over here. That's right here. Oh, this is gonna get confusing. There's a lot of bottles of Knob Creek. Knob <laughs> Crack. Knob Crack. For the record, Dylan did not pour me it. He just handed me the bottle and expects me to pour it myself. Yeah. That's yeah. And you know it's gonna be heavy handed. My first tasting notes of this bottle has nothing to do with the taste. Actually, it's that I noticed different... that the bottle is very wobbly comparatively to a lot of the other ones it's very like the original it's a new style it's yeah. their new one are all the new ones like this uh-huh yep. where they looked all super ripply yep they yes. try to make them look like really like old-timey there's a lot of dun -dun. Gun -gun. Sorry, that's my bad it's a netflix dun -dun. sound dun -dun. Dun -dun. Yeah. No, it's, it's twenty seven dollars okay. <laughs> 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 it's like whoops please drink it Oh, I'm going to drink it. No, I know. I'm saying we could just use it. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, <laughs> no, I want I want to I want to get into this. Hey, what details you got, Brooklyn? It's, pretty it's actually a very mild finish. Like for being a hundred proof, it's kind of hot on the uptake, but I'm used to like hundred proof or cast drink stuff like being hot on the end. Mm -hmm. Like you can tell when you're done. This one's more of like that initial spice, and it's a very mellow, sweet finish. I see what you're saying about ginger, which is nice, because I don't feel like you get that with a lot of bourbons. Mm -hmm. It's got trash. Remember, we got to do <laughs> the... Okay. So, Brooklyn, how do you drink the whiskey? Where does it hit the tongue? How do you swallow it? Do you move it around your mouth? So, I this has been something that's like upset me for a long time now. I was lied to. <laughs> By Dylan's dad. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Years ago, I don't even remember where this was, but we were somewhere. I think it might have been at... Uh, was it Bill and Kathy's, maybe? We were at a cabin or something, and he gave me some whiskey. And it was like a nice scotch. I don't even think it was that nice, but it was like Johnny Walker or something like that. My dad hit scotch. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was your dad. Strange. Okay. I'm sure it wasn't Bruce. <laughs> Try to, well, I thought I had a... Me it's like one of those things where I had a clear picture of a memory, but now that you've questioned it, now I'm questioning my memory, and maybe I just fabricated the story. I might be combining a few different like life experiences here. But I remember them telling me to roll the whiskey down the center of my tongue. Like, you almost want to clump it your tongue, like roll it like a U, and then have it down the center so that way it doesn't roll because you don't want it to fill your mouth you want it to go straight down but i think that was a weird way of them to make like crappy whiskey not taste so bad because <laughs> you just like get it down before it has a chance to burn mm -hmm. <laughs> i think is what they were going with because everything else i watch or listen to now is like not that at all like mm -hmm. they're like no just like like fill your mouth let it envelop let it wash over the tongue you know to let all your taste buds experience it which is kind of how i do it now like, yeah. I kind of, like, end up pressing the my tongue to the roof of the mouth so that it kind of like envelops over it. It washes down over it. Yeah. Yeah, because we, we were just talking about this last episode. Uh, and that was something I do. I do the cupping thing with, with my tongue. Oh, you do? But okay. I, I don't drink it back. But, yeah, I, like I, it, it hits the middle of my tongue first and then the front and then the back. I guess that being said, I still do it. I still cup. Like, it starts at the center. But then I do, like, yeah, then you kind of almost press... After that, you almost 
press your tongue to the roof of your mouth. So then it like suddenly like goes from that cup to washing down the sides, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, I, I more so just let it cascade to the to the front. Like I just look down, and then it goes like middle, in the front, then the back. It's interesting how many people do it differently. Yeah, and there's no like just the way you drink, the the muscles you use. Mm-hmm. And it, we were just we were testing it, just how it it makes it taste a lot different. Mm-hmm. You pick up different notes. That's why I always assume that there was like a right way to do it, or a way where you get like the most experience. But yeah, it's kind of like some things where it's just like, nah, just the way you do it. Mm. Hmm. Any thoughts on this uh, this edition of Knob Creek? Pretty Man, generic. it's been a long time since I've had like normal Knob Creek, so it's like really hard for me to actually honestly state the difference. I like the new bottle though; I think it's much more interesting. I, I prefer the old one. Really? I don't know. I think it's nostalgia. I'm really stuck on the bottle. I don't really even care about the whiskey. I'm all about that. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about design. You pass me the dumb glass. I like the bottle because it feels like you can hold on to it real good. Hmm. It's like half the reason I like Jägermeister. <laughs> Got grips. Well, well, it's like well no, cool, it's because it's got a. It's the cool bottle. It's, it's like, got a, it's got the indented on deer the side. on it. It's, no. got, it's got the deer. Do you know Jägermeister means master hunter? What? Do you like how quickly I turn this whiskey podcast no, into a Jäger podcast? My, about my Jäger machine. Oh yeah, Brooklyn <laughs> has a Jäger machine. By the way, I bought a Jäger machine, and these bozos decided to come into my house to make their podcast and turn off my egg machine when I wanted some ice cold egg after a hard day's work. You're welcome. <laughs> I will say, I used it. That was the first thing I did when I got here. It's good though, right? It was delicious it, it, because it was stupid cold. Negative 10 degrees. It was so cold. Night. It's very cold. It was the coldest shot of egg I've ever had. Like It kind of hurts. A little bit. Like a little bit. Like You're kind of like, oh, I'm getting frostbite as I'm drinking this. But it was good. Yeah. That's the only way to drink egg. That's funny. All right, let's move on. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. That's I'll okay. let you guys continue. No. <laughs> let, let us. No, no you, I want to talk more about yeah. You were just part- done with I mean, the conversation. Do, but... Yeah. You're a participant now, Brooklyn. All right, so the next one we got is the Knob Creek 12-year 100 proof. It is... It looks darker. It's harder to find. I wouldn't call it a limited edition. It seems like it's been available f- pretty regularly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But 12 years old, so it's three years older than the uh, nine-year. Quirk pop. If I can open it. Ooh. That's the one downside I it's will say basey. about Knob Creek is that their bottles are really hard to open sometimes. I was just glad that they uh, added that the new wax tab, you know? Like it's actually a nice big tab that when you pull it it actually works oh yeah give it a nice slurp (laughs) are we are we are you recording again yeah i mean we were never not recording right i mean (laughs) (laughs) you gotta finish it so we can get to the 12 (laughs) I don't know who poured so much in this glass. Mm-hmm. They're, they're crazy. That that's one good. Expensive. That, that's another big pour. Is it? That? No, it's it's a tiny glass. I know, but that's still... No, it's it's way smaller than the Glen Cairns. Like, that's like a little bit. No, that looks like a lot. It's still like an ounce and, and a half. It's like a mouthful. If that's a mouthful for you, you got a big mouth. Big mouth. Yeah, pass, you want to pass me the open bottle? Oh, I like that better. It smells different, but I don't know how. It's way better, just in every way. Mm-hmm. It's way smoother, but like it's probably even more flavor. So, oh, super oaky. Mm-hmm. Super oaky. You don't Holy get the moly. ginger as much. I will admit that. So if you really like the ginger from the other one, mm. do not get that as much from this. But everything else is enhanced. It's like a licorice or something. Mm-hmm. Which, <laughs> you just smell the egg over there. <laughs> the, um... The ginger is probably from like the actual whiskey, then, right? And then when you get when you get a higher age statement, the ginger probably just gets kind of covered up. That note gets covered up it, by all the oak. Yeah, I, I, or the it's removed just from the barrel process. Yeah, yeah. this is sharp tasting. I, I like Super this sharp more. tasting. Oh, you think sharp? Yeah. Oh. No, I'm doubting my whole reality. I like this more. It's more oak impact. Mm-hmm. Less. 
spiky. The, the OK after birth is just so much more present. It's it hurt my throat. Yeah, I don't know. I do. I enjoy this more. So I made mean, by default. Yeah, I, I think this is a better dram. But oh, he said the word. We gotta take shots from the Yosh, you know. Oh yeah. No I'm dram. <laughs> Every time somebody says dram, we have to after take shots from the hours. I'm never saying the word dram again. Why? Oh dang it. Oh, oh. Dang. Oh no! Oh, I'm retarded. Oh no! I mean, what? Which one would you guys get? I mean, twelve year. Not how much is the twelve year? Yeah, that's a good point. Well, I, I should specify before pricing. Which one would you get? Twelve year. Twelve year. Twelve year. As long yeah. as it's within like thirty dollars, probably. I will look that up. I bet it's within. I'm going to say it's like 55. So according uh, total line, the 750 um, is $26. For what? Re- really small batch. The 12 year is 60. Mm. Ooh, I was close. It's $5 off. 60 bucks. Yeah, so it's $30 more essentially. Mm-hmm. I don't know about Which that. Is- $30 more is Yeah, it's not it's not double better. It's not twice sixty dollars though. I mean, like that's that's true because like it's not it's not like going from seventy to a hundred. It's going from thirty to sixty, right? So you're literally doubling the cost. You gotta look at it from that standpoint. Yeah, I don't know if it's sixty dollars worth. Like, there's a lot of whiskeys I'd probably buy over this for sixty dollars. But in the in the Knob Creek world, in the Knob Creek world, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I I do like this a lot more. I I've kind of just I don't find myself drinking Knob Creek as much. Knob Creek really, yeah. You know, the really small batch, just yep. straight. You know, because you've had it a lot, probably too. I mean, no, to be honest, I've had the the one twenty the single barrels far more than probably purchasing the small batches. Hmm. But yeah, hmm. I'm gonna add like a drop of water. Yeah. Can I get dump glass? Yeah. Thanks. Bro. I love that little dropper thing you got. What brand is that? It's a. It was an orange bitter um, bottle. Bottle that I had. Oh, that you repurposed. Store, and oh. I just peeled the label. I thought off. it was going to be like a special, like specific, like whiskey mm-hmm. dropper thing, and we we're going to do a little product placement. Nope. Whiskeydropper.com. Nope. dot com. Little. little Little sponsorship opportunity. Sponsorship opportunity. Today's episode is sponsored by Blue Apron. No, it's not. <laughs> but if they want to, hit us up. That's yeah, kind of sad. I remember enjoying all of these a lot more, and I'm not enjoying them as much as I thought I did. Yeah. Very one dimensional. All of them are oaky. I was surprised to find that ginger note in the nine year. And this one, the 12 years, just it's just really, really oaky and kind of hot and a little peppery. I like the oakness, it's, it's though. Bourbon, yeah, yeah. It's bourbon, yeah. The, oaky, the more oak, the better in terms of this. Yeah. I would agree. Let's, let's move on, I guess, to something that mentally is going to be more oaky. I associate Knob Creek so much with, just because growing up, my, what my mom always bought was uh, like the flavored Knob Creek. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Let's, wait, right. I'm a huge fan of knobs. Let's keep going. So nine knobs are good, but fifteens are better. <laughs> yeah. My. Uh, but you. What? What is that? Like the? Cause they had like a maple flavored one, right? Yeah. Smoked maple. Smoked maple. I think that's the one she would always buy, and she's like, "Oh, I love whiskey," you know. And then I taste it, and I'm like. This is what whiskey, whiskey is. What the freak is this? Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, like, because it was before I could drink, really. So, like, you know, they give me a taste, and I was just like, oh, okay. Right. But then I didn't understand that, like, that's not what whiskey is. Right. Then, yeah. So that's then when what... you try anything else, you're like, ew, this isn't nearly as sweet and tasty as that other stuff I tried. Yeah, you're like, ooh, it's bitter, and it's kind of like It's like, sharp it's like and... only drinking flavored coffee, yeah. and then suddenly somebody just gives you a black cup of Colombian. Mm-hmm. You're just you're like... like what is this bitterness? It's so gross. This one actually has uh, tasting notes on it. But this is the uh, Knob Creek 15 year limited edition. Um, it is release number KC001. Why do I feel like we're jumping a lot? 
you can't we, we, we you just can't read the tasting notes it's like a spoiler <laughs> you know what i mean because that's it's, influencing no, your it's mind true. Huh? Well, wait All don't right. influence Corp-pop. your mind i told you we're in the matrix i want to be surprised it's like, like any of you guys tell me a tasting note, I'm all, always like, oh, yeah, <laughs> I taste that too. I didn't taste it before you said it, but I now heard, that you said it, yeah, it's there. I already told him we're living in a simulation anyway, so it's okay. Just Carter. Carter's the simulation. Car- Carter's the one living in the simulation. Dude, what if I wasn't real? I broke into my house today. <laughs> I did break into your house today. <laughs> He just phased through the wall door. He's just like, <laughs> pulled out his little uh, communications <laughs> computer, and it was like, Scotty, beat me in, <laughs> beat me into the house. Wow. Wow. Does anyone else watch the very beginning of the second Star Trek movie as like a hype song? No. Wait, like are you when I work, about... no. When they're on the planet and they're running away from all like the native people, and they jump off the cliff, and they go, <laughs> and then the ship rises up off the cliff. I like watch that every morning before I work out. I think you're thinking of Avatar. No, it's definitely from Star Trek Two. Yeah, Airbender or the or uh, both blue the people. Blue people. You can't say blue people. Find the Navi. Thank you. The natives. <laughs> no, I've given up on the nose on these. They're all the yeah, same. Yeah, they're all the same. I have sun. Maybe more oaky. Right. I think eyes. this one smells like whiskey. Mm. I think this one smells like scotch. This one smells like a Sharpie. <laughs> really? More Sharpie-like than the rest. Yeah. A fine tip. Sorry. All right. Superior. Let's taste this thing. No, I think people want to hear about the Sharpie. Play different notes. That's less okay than than the twelve. Really, I thought it was more. Really? No, nah, it's less. I think it's less. It's just unless the oak is turned into just <clears throat> nuts. It kind of tastes like almonds. It's a yeah. classic Knob Creek note. It's a nut. Nut. I'm kind of doing what I said before about like I don't know it until you guys until tell you me it. it. But it is that, and that's how I would quantify it. Yeah, like almonds. Like it's kind of like a roundness. Very mild, like a warm, loving embrace, but it's not like. What's a warm, loving embrace feel like? (laughs) (laughs) Ouch. (laughs) We'll give you one right after the podcast, Carter. Don't worry. I'm trying to think. Like, because, like, eat pistachios and they kind of like, they have a certain sharpness to them. For some reason, almonds are kind of milky, right? Like, that's where you get almond milk. So, like, you almost kind of get that. You know? <laughs> yeah, almonds almonds are creamy. Yeah. Creamy. You yeah. gotta milk the nuts. God, that's yeah. how they make I it. Right? I know what you mean. Yeah. We gotta milk the teat from the almond the almond teat. <laughs> the almond teat. Uh, you ever seen how a cashew's grown? Yeah. They're come, underground, right? Come from they a fruit. Come up like a vine. No. No, no, it's not a tree. Did you know the cashews come from a fruit? Cashews come from a fruit. Yeah. yeah. But it's like a fruit that comes from a tree. Oh, it's on a tree. It's like yeah. you know, you know, like an apple. You know how apples have stems. Mm-hmm. It's like the cashew is the stem. Yeah. Of that fruit. Yeah, the cashew is like the stem, but you can't eat the statue until you roast it because it's poisonous. Right. <laughs> Zach seems like he's gonna die. He's really tired all of a sudden. That uh, that Chick Fil A sandwich is not the meal of choice for energy. I'm just like, <laughs> okay. are you okay? Because you came just like. <laughs> just like ugh, just dig it into my eyes. Well, I'm just like, are you just like, <laughs> are you good? Do you guys want? Know. Do you guys want to hear the uh, tasting notes for this? Yeah, let's do it. Aromas of caramelized oak, followed by hints of sweet vanilla and baking spices. The palate is a smooth, uh, is smooth with caramel and toffee notes, paired with toasted oak and lighter leather. The finish is warm with a spice, light floral and fruit. It sounds like every other Knob Creek in How existence. How is it like? How, I like the light. How is it they make tasting notes like that are also leather? the most vague thing ever? Right. Yeah. What's I think it's the just... difference between light leather and dark leather. Man, I wish I thought of saying that. Mm-hmm. Just, <laughs> I mean, like seriously though, it's, like... it's it's just verbiage to instill some kind of idea process, right. you know? Because you want to be 
intelligent about the way you drink. So you want to really Ooh. dive into the, all the taste buds, Ooh, how it makes you that. feel, how it like you just you're going full on examination. It makes me feel happy, happy and like a little encumbered, to be honest, happy in a good hungry. way. Huh? Happy and hungry. Happy and hungry. Water didn't do much. No. Oh no, Brooklyn's stealing my coin. Yeah, see, these are tough. I, I he gets a coin. It's hard to be like, yeah, these are really, really good. I I personally think I would uh, tend to not get not creek anymore. <laughs> well, <laughs> I mean, just like or like find one that I you know. We still have hope. Yep. We still have hope. Yeah. We're only halfway through. Yeah. Or, well, because I I, I like my one twenty. What I should have brought is I should have brought my. Uh, my 120 Knob Creek or I. So, before we cross this line, we could do something interesting. Mm-hmm. I don't like interesting. The next three are basically the same proof, right? Yep. But they're picks. Uh huh. What if we blinded them? Okay. Or I, I could blind the three of you. Yeah. Stab its eyeballs out. So we're not. <laughs> right. We don't have any predetermined notions going in. Mm -hmm. I have predetermined notions. Would you guys want me to blind it? Sure. All right. I'll blind the last three for you. Let's. I mean, let's look at what they are. Let's let's tell everyone the selections. Good point. So we have a twelve-year age statement, one twenty and a half proof knob creek cast strength, cast strength, limited release. Um, Can they do half proofs? Is that? That's what it says. So wait, one twenty and a half. Can do half proofs? Are these all? I feel like I've never heard that. Bourbon. Or is there one? No, it's all bourbon. Yeah. So Knob okay. Creek is. And then we have some. They have stuff. a rye. It's though. a twelve year. And rye then bourbon. there is a no. non-age stated single barrel one twenty proof. And does then, it say where it was picked from? Um. Yeah. This is hand selected by Freddie No, who is the master distiller, right? Yes. Of Knob Creek, or Jim Bre- Jim Beam, or just Knob Creek? Jim Beam. Okay. Jim Bream. And then I have the. Nine year single barrel one twenty proof. So ones so of these one twenty exact, there is a a store pick and a nine year. So that's something to keep in mind. So nine year, store pick, and then twelve year. Limited store release. Pick. And that's I think they're both nine years, right? Not the well, this one probably I can probably I think it'll start. tell you. Yeah, but a barrel date twenty eleven, selected date twenty twenty. So yeah. Okay. It is nine years. Right. It just it just doesn't say it. Right, right. All right. So I'm going to take these. Obviously, I will be aware of what I am pouring. But yeah. you guys, finish. You guys got empty glasses. Yeah. So I guess we should the 15 year. What do we think about the 15? I thought the 15 would be oakier than the 12, and personally, I don't think so, but it is more complex. It's more, it's like the sweetest, I think, by far, of all the ones we've had. So if you okay. like that sweetness, and if you could find a 15, <laughs> then yeah, that's the one to get. But I think it's not too far enough away from the the twelve, to be in the same, to be or to to decide for it. Mm-hmm. I say if 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 you see the twelve, and not the fifteen, don't wait till you see the fifteen. Just get the twelve. They've only released one. That that's the first release, and that's yeah. the only one so far that they've right. done. But but Brooklyn, what do you think? Um, this one compared to the rest. Uh... How much was this one compared to the to the other two again? Because this is the third one, the Four. fifteen year. Yeah. Uh, I'll tell you after. Oh, after. Yeah. <laughs> um. Well, we already said we didn't think the other one was worth the jump in price, and I would kind of verify that with this one. I'm assuming it's more expensive. I would definitely get the twelve over the fifteen. Okay. Okay. Carter. Compared to the twelve and fifteen. Yeah. So yeah. the one we just had the fifteen compared to the rest. And twelve year. You want the twelve year too? Okay. Yeah. yeah. So most of us agree. Cheap. Yep. Twelve. Cheap, 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 I, I think cheap, there's cheap. not much of a difference between the twelve and the fifteen for yeah. me. Um the price on the fifteen is a hundred dollars. Yeah. Yeah. Not, not worth hundred. So cork pop, first blind. Are these unopened bottles that you're opening with a cork pop? 
No. Does that count? I feel like cork pop applies to like a fresh bottle, like first open. Uh, glasses. I think you're, you're that's right. A stupid rule. You are <laughs> right. <laughs> Dylan's yeah. mad at me. You're correct. <laughs> saying, However, <laughs> yeah. sometimes we get excited and we open them before we try them on a podcast. Exactly. Hey. And how hey. much better is it? Get out of my sandwich. <laughs> All right. Hmm. This kind of smells like. Uh, it smells like Knob Creek. This is this is the first one over fifty. So keep that in mind. This is what year again? Oh, this is the, yeah, they're all they're we're, we're, all we're getting blinded. So it it's, it's, blind. it's either a nine or yep. a twelve. There's two nines and a twelve. In our blind, 120. Ish. They're all 120 proof, give or oh. take a half. Half give a proof. Half proof. I still think the half proof is dumb. Neither here nor there. It tastes or sorry, it smells most the same. I'd say this this smells more like bananas and caramel. What about you guys? So here, Carter already drank some. I didn't get and anything off the nose. Yeah. And I just kind of don't rely on the nose when I'm I doing think bourbon. somebody needs to yeah. hand me those Reese's as a pl- palate cleanser. No. <laughs> I, that's probably right. The plastic bag is going to be really great for audio. <laughs> we already did that last time. <laughs> hmm. That's pretty good. Super sweet. That dies real quick. Real quick. Not much of a finish. Really hot. Uh uh-uh. uh. It's hot and then it's like boom. But I don't think it's the alcohol. I think it's like the it's the spice. The spice. The spice. Did you guys see the newest trailer for Dune? No. No. I, I wasn't even on board before and now I'm like super on board. Looks like, pretty spicy. That's good. <laughs> the spice. I hope this one isn't mine, because I, I remember enjoying mine. This one is not that great, mainly because it, yeah, it's spicy. It's not my it's favorite. It's not long lasting. Ooh, it's better with water. It's sour. It's better with water. All right, that's that's the only thing I need. I did three drops. Ooh, I like square glasses. That's what I've determined. For bottles or yeah, like anything. like the bottle you're holding there, they're using as a little drip drop. Do you want some? Yeah, sure. Okay, drip drop. Cheap I just like the square. <laughs> I like the and with it's got the indent on the side with the the print on it. I don't know. That's Classy. why Brooklyn likes gag so much. Yeah, he found he figured it out. He figured it out. That's what he was getting to. So ah. I was getting at, but I just didn't want to. The water didn't open anything up though. It just. How many drops did you guys do? I just uh, did one. I did two. He did, I did three. three. But I only have a little bit left. So. It just. Diluted, and that's kind of it. Yeah, it didn't make it taste any. It made it less alcoholic. Yeah, I, I like this better with water personally, mm-hmm. but. I guess so I mean, I'm gonna reevaluate all of, all of my decisions at after the three blinds, but I'm gonna say this one is the twelve year. Just general life decisions. Yeah, or? general life decision. This is the twelve year reevaluate. Okay, the cast strength twelve year. The cast strength twelve year. Okay, okay. You don't mind, please. That one... Use your words. I still think, so far, I like the uh, 100 proof 12-year the most. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was yeah. the most interesting. I think cost of performance. Yeah, and this yeah, this doesn't benefit from the proof. Cause it's just you, hot. Cause, well, proofing it down made it more enjoyable. Yeah, but it, you, you only proofed it. You get more then. Yeah. 20. Yeah, it's kind of like... It, you're always walking that line where it's like, oh, more proof means more flavor, but sometimes it's just hot to be hot, but at the same time, it's like... Trying to save money and be like a lower proof, right? Like, anytime you see eighty, you're like, oh, it's a budget whiskey or something, right? But it's not necessarily true. But for the most part, you kind of snap to that. And I feel like when I see stuff over one twenty, I kind of feel like the same, but the reverse, where it's just like, oh, it's look how much proof we have. Yeah, it's not because like, oh, that's what makes it good. We like we. Right calculated this out to a little like to a certain percentage and this mm-hmm. is good and that's why like anything in between that like i don't know 120 to anything more than 80 right 
all the way up to 120. If it's in that range, I feel like, okay, there's a reason they decided it's got to be there. Hmm. Like, this is what makes it taste good. Yeah. There's, there's enough. There's e- exceptions to all Yeah, of that. I was going to say there's enough examples to be exceptions. The Barrel Proof Elijah Craig's Stag. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, the Barrel Proof Elijah Craig, I feel like, is just like a joke. I feel like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> 136 and a half proof. Uh-huh. Like. <laughs> but it's good though. Like it's that's good got and lots of it flavor. hurts at yeah. the same time. It's like oh I might have to go grab one of those now that we're talking about it. Shh. You can get one. I haven't. Oh, I thought you meant like buy one. No, oh, it's sitting over on the yeah, show. It's ready. Oh, C919. Is that the the stupid one? Yes. The stupid high. So. The stupid high one, yeah. Yeah. It's the one that Dylan gave me and I'm like, oh cool. Oh, you so, suck. So when my dad was like, oh, I couldn't find anything over 100 proof. And I looked at him, I'm like, are you dumb? <laughs> yeah. There's so much over here that's over 100 proof. Although that, that being said, I wouldn't want him to use that as a mixer. But there was other examples that he could have used. But it was just like, yeah, this is 136 and a half proof. And he's like, his eyes just got really big. And he's like, what? <laughs> like, this is like one step short of Everclear. All right. So here's our next one. Cork pop. Oh, weak, weak, weak. soft, soft boy. Pet boys does everything for less. Glasses. Oh, it's man. funny. I looked at it to see how full it was because I was like, oh, maybe it's because it's empty. And then I'm like, why is Dylan wrapping it with a blanket? Like you're just gonna make it warm. And then I was like, oh, that's right. We're doing a blind taste. That's test. good. <laughs> eight hundred five eight eight two two three hundred Empire today. Okay, fine. For a great low rate, you can get online. Go, go to the, the general, general save some time. time. Shaquille O'Neal. Shaquille O'Neal. Shaquille? Shaquille. 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 Apparently, that's the reason why he's in the general commercials. What's happening? I don't know how much they pay him. No, are you no. giving me baby glass? Oh, this is yours. I have baby glass. <laughs> I was handing Carter the wrong glass. Brooklyn scared me for a second. Because everyone else has been pouring out their whiskey. And I haven't because, oh man. <laughs> what about the check? Shaquille O'Neal the Shaquille is on O'Neal. all the general commercials. Uh-huh. Which is kind of a budget insurance, right? Uh-huh. Even the commercials are budget. The whole reason he does it is because when he didn't have a lot of money, Basically, before he became an NBA star, that was the only insurance company that would give him a policy. Mm-hmm. The general's been around that long. Apparently, I didn't realize that. So, and that's why he like he does the sponsorship. Them. Yeah, it's because he was grateful that he had that available to him when no one else would basically give it. Yeah, give him the opportunity. Mm-hmm. Can you guys smell neat. anything on this? Like it's super weak. <sighs> no. it smells the same to me as the yeah. other ones. You know, I'm just going to say, I feel like all they just all smell the same. Yeah. They really I do. I don't get as much alcohol burn on my nose from it. I guess I could say that. No, it's just there's no distinct flavor. It's just kind of like, eh. Hmm. I think this was mine. Which one was yours, Zach? Nine year, Ooh. 120 proof, not not barrel pick. I like not this one. Pick. I like not, this. not store pick. This one's better. It's like, a little bitter. I, I do like this more. Kind of on the sides of my tongue, on the back. But it's like not a bad bitter. It's like, uh, it's nice. Hmm. Brooklyn's trying to tell me something and I'm confused. He gave me the weight can. <laughs> to uh, wash it down. Well, I yeah. Just, I, I just remembered I didn't finish this before I started. Mm. There's a little sip left. You have an Apex thing on the back of it. So what's better about this one? I'm trying to like quantify it because I, I i also like it better <laughs> this one seems sweeter yeah. i think it's sweeter and i it... think i think when they're talking about like floralness like this actually tastes floral you know like this is where this is where they decided that word right, from right no it's it's japanese whiskey huh habiki harmony yeah talk about floral that's floral right that's the definition of floral i, I got you there i think it's just not as no, uh... i got you thank you oh thank you Namaste. I'm allergic to whiskey, by the way. I'm sneezing really bad. Are you actually? I have. I might have COVID. Dude, that's sick. Wait. No, I'm just kidding. 
I'm gonna go home now. Can you hear me the, the uh, dropper? This this one I think might be my favorite so far. Yeah, it's got it's got the proof to back it, but it doesn't. It, it's know, not that, just that hot first one just spicy. tasted yeah. hot to be hot. This yeah. has like nice flavor to it, and it yeah. doesn't it doesn't hurt. This is the most nutty out of the ball. We, we we talked about Jim Beam nuttiness all the time. This has got it. This is like a peanut. Nut. Yeah. I, I like this is pretty good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. The water brings out more of a caramel on it. Totally. Totally brings out the caramel. But it's um I don't think it's necessary though. No, it just, it's, it's it just changes different. it. Yeah, yeah. It, just, it just makes it different. Yeah, I kind of like it. I, I think this is the best one so far for the Knob Creek. Yeah, I think this is one of the nine years. I think this is this. I think it's mine, but it could also be the the store pick. Oh, we still got one more. Yeah. I gotta say though, it's like it. So far, there's nothing like. It's egging me on away. to get it's not a, a second bottle. <laughs> right. Nothing is outstanding. What's the average number of whiskeys that you taste in a podcast, would you say? Too many. Probably seven. Do you feel like that's too yeah. many? I, I was going to say like six, six or, or seven. seven, yeah. Do you think that's... Because that's what like be. one thing I do worry about, and that might be right or wrong, but like, like what we're saying, like, ah, this doesn't taste different. Like, do you get to like almost like... I feel like after you get past what? like four or five, it's hard to like, you start kind of like. Depends on if you blew out your taste buds or you, we, we try to stagger them in a way that wouldn't do that. You know, like yeah. we, we go low proof to high There's proof. There's always, we do, do age do like, statements. Just like a yeah. little piece of chocolate in between. No. As a cleanser? I, I think yeah. palate cleanser. That one, I don't think that's a good palate cleanser. It's just a palate I modifier. I think for if you're trying to do palate, do they do chocolate? As a palate I think just water. Uh, it, water's the best. No, they do. Cleanser. I know some places they do. I always felt like that was kind most of places thing. I know they they do non salted pretzels if they're gonna do something non salted or, or 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 like a cracker. But so, something just sucks all the most of them moisture unsalted. out of your mouth. Yeah. The the, the pattern seems to be sense. unsalted though. Okay. It yeah. makes sense that it would be unsalted. Um, I like. Salt. Actually, you know what I. The the thing that blew me away, I never talked about this, but the when we were in Bend, Oregon at the Oregon Spirits, first place I've ever seen it, they had they had unsalted pretzels, but specifically to cleanse your palate, they had carbonated water. Mm-hmm. Not a flavor, just, just carbonated water. Yeah. Just like Ooh. straight club soda. Yeah, yeah, club and it, soda, and yeah. it completely neutralized anything. Hmm. It was interesting. It was good. So going forward, yeah, we could try that. Do an episode with club soda. Well, that's what I mean. Like, it might be kind of interesting to just experiment with that to see if you can like just like like a yeah. true like we, we could do we could do an episode cleanse. on just palate cleansers. Yeah, use the same whiskey or or a couple different ones and do, you know, pretzels unsalted versus salted crackers, um, chocolate, but club yeah. soda. We, we could do a combination of whiskeys that we know would not work. You know, like start start with something super strong, super hot. You know, yeah, right. some like, sort of like. Super hot Isla or something. Yeah, Elijah do, Craig. Yeah, I was, yeah, I was gonna say like C nine one nine, and then we're gonna do like monkey shoulder or something. Some really plain, like plain and bland. Yeah. yeah. Hey. That was a little rude. All right, quirk pop. Ooh. I like that one. Like it was faint, but it was like kind of peppy. Alright. Pep boys. <laughs> It's like optimistic. It's an optimistic. Yeah. Glasses. Excuse the clink. I'm gonna stare you down. You should, I'm just waiting for you to get your glass done. He's got to pour it. This is a higher age statement one. I can tell by the color. <laughs> I can tell because the way it is. Tell because like. Did you know that guy died? Yeah. Which guy? Know. That guy, Nature Walk guy, died. What? Yeah, yeah. he died like, like a long time ago, like a while ago. What? Yeah, like a like a long time ago. I just I found out about it like a year or two ago. I can't remember. But I don't I think it was like at least like, four or five years ago he died. Like from what? I thought it was a heart attack. Oh, that sucks. Poor Nature Walk guy. It's it funny because he was super young. Yeah. Well, I mean that video is like what twenty, fifteen years old. 
is it? 2006. That was like 10. Uh, it was early YouTube. It was real early to YouTube. Yeah, maybe, YouTube. maybe it was 2009 YouTube. somewhere out there. For some reason, 2009, 2010 seemed like really far apart to me. Has anyone else re- experienced that? Specifically 2009 to 2010. Like, if somebody says 2010, I'm like, that's not that long ago. But if somebody says 2009, I'm like, oh, that's so long ago. No. Yeah, I don't, okay, feel, that's I don't feel that. For me, that's like, uh, I don't know. I guess like t- 2014, 2015. Like, 2015 was like not that long ago. But 2014 feels really long ago for some reason. Because mm-hmm. like 2014 was back when like. They were like, did the 3DS come out in tw- like before that? 2013? Oh, was it? Okay. Like, for some reason, 2014 feels like all I had as a kid was like a Game Boy or something, you know? I love how your reference for what year it was was like what system you were yeah. playing. Yeah, because video games are my life. Console yeah. come out. Exactly. Like, stages of my life are just based on what, what games I was playing. That's my favorite thing. Huh. Chipotle is my wine. It's, it's, it's just carnival again. Just like in the nose. It's caramel color too. Hotter. It's the smoothest, I think, yeah. of the of the one twenties. I was trying to figure out if it was actually smooth because it's like I can taste the alcohol, but it doesn't like burn. If that makes sense. And I was trying to figure out if it's just because I've drinking so much that I've numbed myself. Blown your to palate it. and stuff. Yeah. 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 No, I, I I agree. I think this is perceivingly the smoothest is it sweeter than the other one the last one it's we about had the same i don't know this one tastes like toothpaste to me minty Very, yeah minty yeah and like it leaves my mouth very dry and I, it could be because the ethanol content no. but yeah who's dry. got the who's no, got the dropper dry yeah dry. Me the, i do let's I get the dry. You, you do it first Mine. Toothpaste is one of those funny things where you can market it differently, right? Like somebody, yeah, I guess, to- yeah. somebody could say toothpaste and be like, "Ew, that's gross," and somebody could say like, "Oh, it's like a mint Oreo," and then yeah. you're like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> "A lot, a lot, yeah. a lot." I guess yeah. When I say toothpaste, but they taste the same. I mean the experience of a toothpaste. Like a mint Oreo is literally just toothpaste on an Oreo. I mean, it's a little different than that, nope. but <laughs> no, nope. I get you. I get what you mean. I mean, why do you think people? do that what put like, toothpaste in an oreo well, yeah know. That, no, it sells <laughs> no i mean like replace the cream with toothpaste because it looks the same it tastes about the same too wait actually like they put like, like i mean a, it says a, it's a joke it's a prank it's just a prank bro it's just a prank bro you want water it's a prank bro oh yeah again i'm gonna talk about the bottle i really like it <sighs> We gotta get some. Bro- we gotta get Brooklyn some yag after this. That, y- that boy needs some yag. That doesn't taste any different with the water. Zach looks mad for listening to reference. I'm just. He looks upset. I don't like it when I try to do something to my whiskey to make it taste different, and then it doesn't. I'm also just really trying to figure out which one's which, because like I want mine to be good. Because I liked it before a lot. So, of course, I'm like, yeah, that was the second one. The second one was totally mine. And this one, I'm kind of thinking this one's the 12. And I feel like a barrel pick, a barrel pick 9 should be better than a regular 9. So, that makes, that, that makes me think the second one was the barrel pick. And then the first one, which I liked the least, was mine. Oh. But that makes me mad. So, you, you it was yours... Because you did you pick it because you liked it the most? Well, no, I think. Why was it yours? You just picked it off the shelf, uh-huh. or? Yeah, I just it, it's it's mine. It's the one I brought and I bought. Okay. I bought it a but while ago. But it's not like the motivation of you buying that specific one is like this is the one I like. No, I just wanted to try one because oh, I didn't. Okay. I hadn't seen a 120 proof yet on the shelf, so I'm like, yeah, I'm just gonna take this one. And I've had it a bit, and I liked it a lot. So the only one I've had tonight that I've liked a lot. Of the 120 proofs was the second one. Yeah. And I feel like the barrel pick should be the best. You'd think. You'd think. But. You would think. So I am. 
You thought is the barrel pick is the best? It's the best. And Even it was, though this and is it was supposed to be a one. limited edition? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I think... Man, I'm looking it up now, but... Are those in order? I'm just going to stick it with my original. Did you just no, kinda... I just brought them up. just brought them up. I'm going to say original. First one was the 12. Second one was mine, the 9-year 120 non-store pick. And the last one was the store pick. Okay. What do we think? I think I think it was uh, non-store pick was first, store pick was second, 12-year was last. They're all around 120. Proof? Proof, yeah. Okay. Bill. I mean that's the a... first one was the smoothest though, right? We all kind of agreed on that, didn't I, we? I thought the last one was the smoothest. Oh, this last one was yeah. the smoothest. I, I think the three of us agree that the last one was the smoothest. Oh, because that's what I said. That's right. I I, I already forgot this. I had said like I wasn't sure if I if my palate was yeah. like ruined. Right. Yeah. Or if it was actually the smoothest. Because you do kind of reach that when you drink a lot of whiskey, you kind of get a point where like it doesn't burn anymore. You know what yeah, I mean? It, like, it can coat your tongue. Yeah. And you can... Well, same way you can blow out your sense of smell. You can also blow, when you get blow in a hot out your tub. sense of if taste. If you're in a hot tub, right? If you get back in, it doesn't feel that hot, right? right but you're when not, you first yeah. get in, it's like, oh my God! <laughs> a balls yeah. are higher. You get a pool. This is the Knob Creek Hot cold. Tub Challenge. So before I, I, I reveal... So what lit. Which one... So the 12 years got to be the what, last What's one. our top three? Or do we want to do four in case they're all, all well, the 120s? Them, so I think but all like them all the Knob Creeks. Yeah. Oh, all the ones here or yeah. all the ones total? Yeah, I'm going to say... The maple one beats them all. <laughs> I'm going to go uh, the last one we had. Okay. So in, in, I guess in order of best, the second to last one we had. So the one that was in the middle, okay. the 120 proofs. Then the last one we had. Okay. And then the the 12-year... Uh, 100. 100. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm kind of on the same page as Zach. Brooklyn? I think the last one was the 12, and I'm, I mean, it's a toss-up between the other two. No, he's asking your favorite. What's your favorite? Oh, my favorite! Your top three. Oh. I'm not familiar enough with them to actually tell you which one's the top three. We You've just been tries... handing me whiskey. Yeah. I don't know what they are. I know they're all Knob Creek. I'll be honest. The twelve, the original twelve I tried was probably my favorite out of all. Your these. favorite, okay. The, actually, the first nine because we got that ginger note. Uh huh. So which I one? don't know if I cool. feel the same way if he hadn't told me it tasted like ginger. So that's why I'm like I'm creating a whole like nexus in Did my he head. You say that? Yeah, I said it tastes like he ginger. Said, he yeah. said he tastes like ginger, and now I have ginger in my head, and I'm like, I didn't taste the ginger in any of the other ones, but Dude. I tasted ginger in that one. So does that make just it better? Made, you just made Brooklyn have hmm. a nexus event in yeah. his head. Yep. So, what we tried was the. Um, make sure I have these. The first one that we had was Zach's right. single barrel. Yep. Oof. Oof. That is a big oof. The second one we had. It's 12 year. See, you did have a minority. <laughs> it was the store pick. I, I exactly asked. The last one we had was the 12 year cast strength. Yeah. So the one that we all thought was the best was the store pick. Single barrel store pick by Freddie No. The master distiller. He knows what he's doing. And the, the cast strength 12 year runs about $90. The single barrel is forty ish. That ain't worth ninety dollars. So that's kind of the scenario. Yeah. Yeah, obviously if you could find the the Freddy No barrel pick, do that one for forty. And then thirty eight to forty five dollars. That was fair. Yeah. I I would say none of none of the rest are up to our standards because we liked the 12 year 100 but that's 60 bucks mm-hmm. i should bring my bit oh, not yeah. worth the 60 bucks the brits regular pub. my brits pub yeah, the brits pub yeah weren't you supposed to i asked okay Never mind. i, I just, forgot to tell them that's all right um yeah none of these except for the store pick i think were 
of great value. Yeah, I, I wasn't blown away. Yep. Hmm. Too bad. Too bad. Well, Bummer it seems somewhere. that we are up a creek Bummer without a paddle. Blow. Up a creek without a paddle. So. A knob creek. Thanks, Brooklyn. Well, thanks for... Uh, that was a funny joke. Yeah, Laugh yeah. at him. <laughs> Thank you for this ep- uh, listening to this episode of The Extraordinary Joke. Uh-uh. Oh. Oh. We ain't no extraordinary. Cut. What are we? <laughs> We're the Whiskey House Pub House. Whiskey House Pub House! Thank you for joining us on this episode of The Whiskey House Pub House, and join us next time. Bye.